Alright, hello everybody and welcome to Got Next Gaming and a, another 7 Days to Die video. We are testing out a base here. Um, I've seen this base design many times, different iterations of it. I've seen um, where they have this kind of winding thing leading up to where you are. I was thinking about putting some wood frame zombie just to kind of extend this a little bit to try to tempt the zombies that come up here. I'm not certain they're going to take that path and try to jump over. I think they may just beat the the uh, the legs of this base here. Uh, and we're going to see what's going to happen. It's going against the day 42 horde. We are at the warrior setting. And we have, um, I think it's 32 zombies spawning in there uh, for that. So 32 zombies. And yeah, so just like normal. We're going to be starting up a new series soon too. For 7 Days to Die. It's going to be called The Wanderer. We're still going to do the mall series. It's going to be mostly an update type of series where we're updating where we're at um probably doing a couple of days at a time to keep it uh, more interesting i guess is the word for it but then we're gonna be doing a new wanderer series too and i'll talk about the rules for that when i start that series up something i want to try uh something i've been thinking about for a while now and trying to plan out so that's that's coming soon too we're doing some space engineers uh it seems people are excited by that so we're definitely gonna do that uh as well, we're going to keep up on that. But right now, let us get into the Day 42 Horde and see how this base stands up. All right, so here we are. We're getting close to the bell. Let's get our weapons loaded here and ready to go. Uh, I should have more than enough ammo here for this. Uh, I added some Molotov cocktails and some pipe bombs. You can see here, Molotovs and then the pipe bombs. Hopefully... I do not blow myself up in the process, but you never know. Anything is possible, right? As I say, I only have the helmet light mod on here. I did not lay down any torches. I don't think we're going to have an issue seeing things, though, to be completely honest with you. Uh, we're probably going to start off with this guy here. We have the red remover on it, and I also have uh, the other mod on it as well, which gives us the um, drum magazine, so it gives us a lot more ammo in that so we don't have to reload so often and i did add the uh, bandolier mod as well to my guy so that he can have a quicker reload time as well it kind of helps him reload faster so we're going to see what happens and the midnight the bell is about to the horde bell is about to ring not the midnight bell but the horde bell is about to ring so hopefully they don't tear this base down and i have to run again for four and a half hours <laughs> anyway here we go I put down these wood frames, hoping that they will come from that uh, direction. It'll try to come up that way. I already see a demolisher. That is not a good sign, but he's coming up the ramp there. Uh, and they're having trouble with that ramp. Okay. So they may quickly abandon that to try to get to me in a different way. Here comes the birds. I knew they'd be coming. Get rid of him. Ooh. We got spitters down here somewhere. And they're coming from all over the place. There you go, finally. They're coming up. They are coming up. And they are going for the base. They are going for the legs of the base here. As I thought they would. There's a demolisher right down there. I'm trying to kill him before he blows up. Nope. That wasn't going to happen. More demolishers. And there goes the there goes that. So they'll be beating the legs of this in no time. And we can't let that demolisher blow up on us, otherwise we got problems. Wow. Okay. Yep, there he goes. And he took out half this base. That's fantastic. Took out all them spikes down there. Holy shit, folks. We're already in we're already in deep shit. I'm glad I gave this base some decent like structure but it's gonna fall soon it, there's there's no doubt about what's gonna happen it's gonna fall pretty soon well, I have to hold on to those Molotov cocktails because it's not gonna do us any good from here with the with the bars I'm glad I put these iron bars in the way I did so I can just kind of shoot down on them I do have the rat remover so oh there it goes and the base falls and we're running Take him out. Oh. We thought we had enough ammo in there to take on Big Mama, but we don't. 
So even before midnight, the base falls again. Not a very good design. They took it down pretty quickly, especially with the demolishers there. It's not something that's going to stand up to a day 42 horde um, with the game level that we have and demolishers coming after us. What the hell hit us? Switch to some Molotovs here. Let's see if we can blow them up. And then we'll make a run for it a little bit. Try to get this rad remover back out here. We'll do a reload. Hopefully we don't get hit in the process of reloading. Maybe we should go to our old base. The pyramid. See if we can stand up on that for a little bit. All that spit that's coming at us, we're going to be dead soon too if we don't do something. we got to get some distance uh, from these guys though. Alright, we're doing some work here. This thing is definitely doing some work for us. Oh, we're in a hole. Maybe I can run them across the spikes or something. I don't know. Oh, there's Big Mama. Hey, Big Mama. We're going to go this way. And we're going to go walk up here. We're going to hit the spikes. We're going to run across this for a second and see if we can't get ourselves a, a little bit of breathing room here for a second. Oh, these damn birds. Oh, no. And I forgot about repair kits, too. That's busted. I put myself on fire. That's fantastic. There's a spider right there. Got to wrap up here. Otherwise, we're going to die very soon. And there it goes. We're dead, folks. That did not last long at all. All right, folks, we're back. I brought it to the daytime here. We're, we are in God mode, and we'll take a look here over our base. A couple of loot bags down there. That's pretty interesting. Um, this base came down pretty quick again uh, before even midnight we're told we were down, we were dead. And um, again, some fatal mistakes on my part. Um, this base did not hold up very well. And the reason being is it's, it's, it's concrete, right? First of all, um, the supports here were concrete. And we had demolishers coming in way early. And there was a bunch of them too. It wasn't even like one. It was There was multiple demolishers. So that's going to do you in every single time. These... Iron spikes don't do shit for you in that case. I mean, basically, that's what it comes down to. And uh, they were starting to get the concept of the ramp. The ramp might have been maybe needed to be done a little bit better for them to kind of get up it. But they definitely wanted to take that route, except for, like, that demolisher. I shot him and didn't kill him in time. And he wound up blowing up and taking out a major portion of the support there. So once that was gone, then they were coming straight for the base that I was sitting in and going for the legs of that to tear it down. They tore it down. I was able to get on the run for a little bit and uh kind of get away for a little while but not for very long and uh with all the cops spitting and everything else i wasn't even able to really you know do much and i tried to get my uh, bandages out and everything else and it just wasn't working out the way it was those uh birds did not help either i had never do well against the birds it's just one of those things uh i'm terrible with birds i'm terrible with dogs not very good at uh, fighting the zombies clearly uh, I was taking them out for a while there. I was doing actually pretty good. This is some freaking fantastic loot, by the way. Um, I was doing pretty good for a little bit. All these effing birds. There's a whole bunch of them right here I, that I took down. I took down a bunch of them myself. I don't think I took down all of those. I think they just died uh, from when I died or whatever. But, I mean, all in all, I mean, you know, I probably could have done a hell of a lot better. I could definitely could have done a hell of a lot better as far as that goes. But those demolishers are just kind of... Wasn't what I was expecting, and they just kind of took me out right away. There's two of them that blew up, one right underneath the, the base that I was standing in, and then one right over here, which kind of destroyed the idea of them pathing to me that way. Even with the wood frames there, like, I thought I was going to kind of trick them into coming that way. I didn't even get a chance to use, like, these pipe bombs or even a couple of Molotovs. Uh, probably get done better with the Molotovs when I had the crowds behind me. And then, of course, I forgot to, again, get myself some repair kits, and this thing died on me and get the click love the click click is always going to do you in but anyway that's going to do it for this one nice short sweet that is what it is we're going to you know move on to another base uh in my next one i'm thinking of doing something that i saw on ja Woodle. i'm not sure if anybody here follows ja Woodle. um he's actually pretty 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 big youtuber good uh subscriber base great subscriber, subscriber base and he does a lot of these like uh types of bases and everything else and test some out. I want to test a, one of his away from keyboard bases. He calls it an AFK base. 
and he, uh, I want to test it out on a day 42 horde to see if I can survive with it. And again, it's, he says it's designed for people who are just like, you know, walk away from the keyboard. And that sounds like something for me, especially with the way I fight, as you can see. Um, but they, you know, it is what it is. Oh, and I set myself on fire on top of it too. Uh, cause I threw that thing too close to myself and there goes the fire. <laughs> set it on fire folks. And that's it. That's what we're going to do for this one. See you in the next one. Bye-bye now.